Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with Trail of Mountain, and today I have a new flashlight from a company called Wubin. There's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. They've been reaching out to me for some time now, and they want me to test their their flashlight. So I just got it in the mail not too long ago, and this is it right here. It's the Wubin C3. Pretty plain Jane box. No color or anything exciting on the box, but apparently the flashlight is super nice. So like usual, I'll get things unpackaged for you out of the box and show you the features and benefits, and then we'll get it outside. I'll show you how bright it gets, and then you can make your decision on whether or not you want to buy one of these based on this review. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, here we go. So here it is right here, Wubin C3. 1200 lumens, Type-C rechargeable, USB-C, which is great, and lower power warning, or low power warning. The C3 is a cost-effective, rechargeable outdoor and household flashlight. It utilizes one piece OSRAM P9 LED, powered by one piece 18650 rechargeable lithium ion battery. 1200 lumens on max. Throw meter is, throw distance is 179 meters. And uh, yeah, so, you got 1200 lumens on high, 400 on medium, low is 80, eco is 5, strobe, and SO, uh, strobe is 1200, SOS is 200. Beam distance 179. Runtime for high is about 2.5 hours, medium 3.5 hours, low 20 hours, eco 143 hours. Not bad. 2 meter draw underwater, IP68 waterproof rating. Impact resistance to one and a half meters, which is pretty standard. Aero grade, uh, aerospace rather, aluminum alloy body. Weighs about 73 grams without battery, 123 width. And the size is about 121.5 millimeters by 25.4 millimeters. All right, let's get this thing unboxed. The grand review. Oh. Okay, so you've got a Wubin wrist tether, wrist lanyard. I never use these, so you have your USB to USB-C charging cable. You have some extra spare O-rings, not bad. You have your user's manual, which is pretty large and like usual in several languages. And the star of the show, which is right here. Three. Okay, so it says please remove the battery insulation sheet before using. So we're just going to unpeel that off of here. It does have a removable clip, which I do like. Here's your charging port on the back. Nice little rubber plug right there to keep the water out, which is great. Interesting knurled light bezel here, and it's not deep. Usually these are like, the, the light is sunk down in there. This is pretty flush, so I like that. It does have a butt cap not on off, so let's turn this, unscrew that. The threads feel really nice. Here's that battery protector they're talking about. It's just this little film, it's pretty standard on most batteries that come like this. Your Rubin 2600 milliamp hour battery, 18650, rechargeable. Threads are really nice, they're already lubed. There's your O-ring right there. Screws together very, very nice and smoothly. So only the butt cap unscrews. And then we'll turn it on. Butt cap to turn it on. And then you can, I'm going to turn this light off just so you can see what I'm doing here. So that's your low. You half press and you can cycle through. And there's your high. You can feel the heat coming off this thing. Okay, so the way you cycle through the different light modes is when you turn it on. It has memory setting too, so um, you just kind of tap the tail cap switch and it goes through the different light output modes. Obviously low, medium, high. And then the turbo. Let 
And then if you double tap while it's on, it'll go into strobe. And then if you triple tap, there it goes. Triple tap, it goes into SOS. All in all, it's a nice little flashlight. I kind of like it. Um, a little bit branded right there, which is nice. It does have a battery uh, power indicator right here, which is great. The body is really nicely designed as well. A little knurled finish on the, here, on the uh, middle of the body. There's the little holes right there for your wrist lanyard. Fits nice in the hand, doesn't... It's not terribly large. But you can clip this onto a belt. Not bad. Does it, what I like about this too, I just noticed that, it has a little battery indicator. On a lot of these flashlights it doesn't. But that's cool, it kind of has that and it just says okay. Positive goes that way, so this way, whenever you do put these in, I mean, it has, you know, pre voltage protection and stuff like that, but sometimes it just doesn't tell you. On many of the other flashlights I've seen, that's one of the first ones I've actually seen that actually has it, so. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but for somebody who doesn't really know any better, and that's good that it's there. Nice little mirror finish on the light bezel. So, yeah, let's get this thing outside, and I'll show you how bright it gets, and... How good it works. Okay, so I'm out here in the backyard. I have the Wubin flashlight. <clears throat> this is low. Can't really see much. Go the next notch up. And next notch up, really bright. And then there's the high mode, super bright. Low, you can barely see it. Medium, or ultra low, low, medium, and then high. And that's just crazy bright. Awesome. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Wubin C3 flashlight from Wubin. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making some really nice lights, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you had some questions that got answered. If you guys have any questions or comments about the light, I'd really like to hear what you have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, please share, and please subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I say about the gear that I'm testing. So thanks again for tuning in and spending your valuable time with me. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.